What is up YouTube? In today's video, I'm going to be talking about earnings reports, what they are and why they're so important. So in the USA, all public companies are legally required to show their earnings reports, 10Ks and 10Qs. 10Ks and 10Qs are our discussion for another day and today's video will primarily be focusing on earnings reports. So what are earnings reports? Earnings reports are financial results, which usually shows us how the business has done and is reported every three months. So what is in a company's earnings reports? Well, earnings reports include net income, earnings per share, earnings from continuing operations, and net sales. So using recent annual reports or quarterly reports and comparing them to the past, we can tell whether the company is growing and becoming more profitable. And we will be able to tell the financial health of the company and determine whether it deserves our investment. So it could really help us decide which companies to invest in and which companies not to invest in. So without earnings reports, we'll be investing in companies blind just based on their product. And a, a lot of companies have similar products, so we, we won't know which is the biggest unless we have their earnings reports. So where can you actually find earnings reports? Now the first place you could check is actually the company's website. I'm just going to be using the company Apple as an example. And there would be a page called Investor Relations, which will show you their, either their recent quarter's earnings report, their whole year earnings report, or the, some companies even show the past five years of earnings. Now another place you could check for a company's earnings is in a website called Nasdaq.com where they show you their revenue and earnings over a period of time. And they also show you future analyst earnings expectations. Now the website I like to use is called Yahoo Finance. Now the first thing you do in Yahoo Finance is you search up the company's name or the ticker symbol and right after you do that you get the company's basic information like their stock price, whether their PE ratio, whether they pay a dividend or not, and what the whole company is actually worth. Then you go to financials and you get three subheadings called income statements, balance sheets and cash flow. Now earnings reports are basically income statements so when you press that you could either get quarterly or annually and there you get their whole revenue breakdown and their earnings breakdown over the past four years and then you could scroll down and you get more basic graphs like just their revenue their earnings and their earnings per share and what analysts are expecting their next quarter now the other two things like the cash flow and the balance sheets that actually just helps us assess their financial health and i will be discussing it in future videos and these three things will really help us analyze whether companies are buy or not but what you have to understand is these numbers aren't the only thing that should decide whether you buy into a company or not you should also understand their management team and whether they have a good product or service and you should also study about the competition now there are many other things that you need to do before you actually buy into a company but these are the basics so the accuracy of earnings reports is actually very important to the sec and the government so let's say a company actually pumps up their revenue and show that they made more revenue than they actually did. This can cause a stock to go up and more investors will want to invest in it. But then if the actual earnings report comes down, this will cause the stock to drop. And now let's say a company also lies about their revenue saying they made very less even though they made a lot more. What this will do is it will drop the stock and it will cause investors to lose money. Now the SEC has a three part mission which is to protect investors, maintain fair, orderly and efficient markets and to facilitate capital information. And to do that they make sure companies provide their right earnings reports and to make sure everything is accurate and done correctly. Very rarely companies show their false earnings but it has happened recently. The company that showed false earnings is Luckin Coffee which is also known as the Starbucks of China. What they did is they fabricated $310 million in revenue and this was found after an internal investigation was done. What does this mean for the company? Both the CEO and the CEO of Luckin Coffee were fired and the stock plummeted over 92% over the last six months. The company is also facing possible delistment from the NASDAQ. This means Luckin Coffee will not be getting as much investor money as it had in the past. And this will slow down growth because Luckin Coffee can't keep opening branches. Competitor Starbucks can also reclaim the number one position in this industry in China because they'll be able to open a lot more branches because they have much more money than Luckin Coffee does. 
and it can mean the company will start to grow less. Now, what does this mean for investors? Well, investors are probably going to face huge losses and will probably be forced to sell. I don't think this is a problem many investors should be worrying about because it doesn't happen very often. But to prevent yourself from huge losses, just be diversified within the different industries and also be invested in big, large cap stocks. You can be invested in small cap, but just be diversified and invest in larger companies as well. Just so you know, my next couple of videos will be focusing on the different components of an earnings report. So in this video, I just kind of talk about why earnings reports are so important. And in my next video, I'll be focusing on what revenue is, what earnings per share is, etc. So if you really did enjoy this video, leave a like and subscribe. Also comment down be below what videos you'd like to see and thank you.